Candace Cameron Bure says Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen will never come back to Fuller House. All grown up. Candace Cameron Bure revealed her thoughts about her former Full House co-stars Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen moving on permanently from the sitcom. You heard it from me first, they will never come back. The Fuller House star, 42, told Us Weekly and other reporters through giggles at the 2019 Movie Guide Awards in Hollywood on Friday, February 8. They are never coming back on the show. They don't want to be on the show. The Olsen twins, now 32, start on Full House as Michelle Tanner from 1987 to 1995. Tanner, Jody Sweeten, Stephanie Tanner, Andrea Barber, Kimmy Jiller, Bob Saget, Danny Tanner, John Stamos, Jesse Katsopoulos, Dave Collier, Joey Gladstone, and Lori Laughlin, Rebecca Katsopoulos, have since appeared in the Netflix revival, Fuller House, Mary-Kate and Ashley declined to participate. Creator Jeff Franklin, who was fired for alleged inappropriate behavior in February 2018, told us in September 2017 that he was not optimistic about the sisters making a cameo. I've stopped asking, really, I kind of gave up, he admitted at the time. But when somebody rings a doorbell, the girls yell, it's always open. On the show so that's kind of how we feel about the Olsen twins. The door is open. And but I think we've gotten enough nos. We're kind of done asking. But who knows. You never know in life. Who thought this whole thing could happen. Beer also gushed on Friday about Stamos, 55. Stepping into the role of a father. He and wife Caitlin McHugh welcomed son Billy in April 2018. We all knew he'd be a great dad and he's everything we thought he would be. But he's just so grounded with both Caitlin and Billy. It's just so nice to see him in that position, she explained. He just is so happy. And he literally has the happiest baby in the world. Billy is so happy and smiles and giggles and is so adorable. Netflix announced in January that Fuller House's upcoming fifth season will be its last. I have no idea if it's true. I'm settled if it's the fifth and final season, the actress said. I'm not sure Netflix, maybe other than Orange is the new black has gone over five seasons. So it's not something that was a big surprise to us. We kind of knew that that was coming, but there was the hope that if fans really loved it, Netflix would make an exception, you know. We love doing the show, we love working together. She continued. I hate to see it end, but with that being said, it's really great to let fans know ahead of time because we can actually give a really great ending unlike the original Full House and so many other shows that just get cancelled on the spot. This is not a cancellation. It's a proper ending to the series. But I'd be totally game if they wanted to keep going. Season 5 of Fuller House will premiere on Netflix in the fall.